welcome to Five News Tonight. I'm Catherine Nash. Now, after a summer of delays, cancellations and all-round frustration, there was finally some relief for passengers of Northern Rail today. The operator restored nearly 170 services in Manchester, Merseyside, Lanarkshire and the Lake District, which was scrapped in emergency timetables last month. But for those who rely on the rail, though, the damage has already been done. A report says the disruption cost businesses more than a million pounds a day, while some people lost their jobs as a result of the chaos. Our chief correspondent, Tessa Chapman, reports. Now to a landmark case in the Supreme Court. A judge has ruled that families no longer have to seek legal permission to end care for patients who are in a long-term permanent vegetative state. It's a decision that could affect more than 20,000 people. Miranda Shunker is at the Supreme Court. For us now, Miranda, what's the background to this? Now, one of the UK's largest police forces says there's been a huge increase in car thefts and manufacturers are being blamed for making them too easy to steal. West Midlands Police recorded five times more thefts this year than it did three years ago when fewer cars had keyless entry systems. Louisa Pilbeam reports. Blue badge parking permits are a lifeline to millions of people with a disability, giving them the freedom to do things like getting to work or visit friends. However, many people with a hidden disability, such as a mental health problem or autism, have struggled to get access to the system. But a change in the rules, which comes into force next year, will now give them equal access. Those who will be eligible include... Well, a little earlier I spoke to Rachel Cook, who has been denied a blue badge, despite having previously had one for her son, who's autistic. And Tom Purser from the National Autistic Society. I began by asking Rachel how having the badge helped her. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back. A huge wildfire that's sweeping across Northern California is now known to have claimed the lives of at least six people, including three firefighters who have been trying to put it out. The blaze has also destroyed hundreds of homes and forced thousands of people to flee. And it's not the only fire that emergency services are having to contend with. Leila Hayes reports. Holidays, which include attractions that keep killer whales in captivity, will no longer be sold by one of the UK's best-known travel firms. And when he first tackled the Tour de France back in 2007, Gallant Thomas was the youngest of all the competitors and a cyclist far more used to the track than the twists and turns of mountainous roads. He finished 140th out of 141 riders. Well, yesterday, 11 years on, the 32-year-old from Cardiff saw off all comers to win the prestigious race. A proud Welshman making his nation even prouder. Simon Vigar reports. And finally, a special birthday for a timeless classic. The Beano first appeared on our shelves in July 1938. And since then, its array of larger-than-life characters and the scrapes they get into have entertained generations of readers. Well, today it celebrates its 80th birthday. And Dominic Reynolds raised a glass to a comic classic. Well, that's it from us. Aidan McGiven has the weather for you next. And Jeanette has updates throughout the evening. Thanks for watching. Good night.